Yo, what's up guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty funny one. Also a very recent one. I've been having the most like recent story time streak ever on this channel. Usually I'm like, oh, today's story time takes place in 2016, 2017, 2018. Well, no. Today's story time takes place yesterday. It's actually the sole reason I didn't post. I was supposed to post a video yesterday, but your boy was preoccupied with a story time happening. So, uh... Yeah, hope you enjoy this story time. Leave a like on the video if you do enjoy, and let's jump right into today's story time. So today's story time, like I said, takes place yesterday. I was in my room, like any other story time starts off, just in my room on my computer playing some video games, and one of my friends hits me up. He's like, yo, dude, you trying to skate today? And of course, I'm like, yeah, can we go to a different park though? Because the last time I went to that one skate park, a big story time happened. He's like, yeah, man, for sure. Also, if you haven't seen that story, go check it out. It's the most recent TikTok girl story time. But anyway, yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, let's skate. He comes over to my house, and we decide to street skate on this day, okay? So instead of going to a park, we decided to skate the streets and just see if we can find any good spots. And I don't really bust tricks or anything. I just kind of ride around, and he does the tricks because I'm a pussy, and I want to break my ankle. And uh, yeah. So anyway, we're skating around. We're just going around the city, not doing a whole lot. And we find this one spot almost immediately right by my house. And it's right next to a playground and a basketball court. And we're just skating at this ledge. And all of a sudden, this guy comes up to us from the basketball court. He's wearing basketball shorts. He's wearing a tank top. He's got a basketball in his hand. He's sweating like a motherfucker. Like, this dude had just been playing basketball, no doubt. This man was a real basketball athlete, if I do say so myself. And he walks up to us and he goes, you guys can't be skating here. And I was like, uh, says who? There's no signs. He goes, I'm the sign. Get out now. And I was like, what? You're the sign. Do you work here? He goes, no, I don't need to. Get the fuck out of here. And at this point, I'm like laughing. Because I think he's kidding, right? I start laughing. And he goes, I'm serious. Get out of here. I was like, do you work here? Like, seriously? He goes, no, I play ball here. And you're fucking up our game. You're distracting us with your skate noises. Leave. I'm like, listen, man, there's no sign that says you can't skate here. There's no security, no police. No one's telling us to leave. I think it's fine. And also, we're not damaging any property. Like, we're not grinding on anything. We're not, like, fucking up anything with our boards. Like, the only thing we were doing was I was skating off the concrete ledge and just kind of, like, dropping down. And my friend was doing tricks off it. So I tell him this. You know, I'm trying to be civil, trying to have a nice civil conversation with this guy. He goes, no, I don't want to hear it. Like, you guys are skaters. I know what y'all do. I know your type. Just please leave. I'm asking nicely, leave. I'm like, well, man, I don't want to argue with you, but you're not asking very nicely. You're kind of being rude. And also, like I said, no signs saying no skating. So I think it's fine. And he goes, that's it. I'm calling the cops. You're going to jail. And I'm like, I'm going to jail. Oh, no, I'm going to jail. That's the title of this video, guys. I'm going to jail. Like, it's done. So after I kind of joke about it, I felt kind of bad. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm being immature. Like, listen, if the cops come and they tell us to leave, we'll leave. But I think it's fine. And this guy gets real serious. He's like, listen, you have two choices. You either leave now and I don't call the police or you don't leave and I call the police and you go to jail. I'm like, dude, call the police. At this point, I'm sick of this guy trying to boss me around. I'm almost positive it's fine to skate here. So I want him to call the police and look stupid. So he calls up the cops and he goes, there's two skateboarders harassing me at the park. And I yell out. I'm like, I'm not harassing this guy. He's full of shit. So fast forward 10 minutes later, the police pull up. Two officers, they pull up. They come up to us. They're like, hey, what's going on here? And I start talking. I explain. I'm like, listen, man, we're just skating here, not bothering anybody. We're far away from everyone. Like, we're not doing anything crazy. We're not grinding on anyone's property. We're not damaging any property. We're just, like, literally riding off this curb right here made out of concrete. And the cop's like, that's it? That's all you're doing? I'm like, yep, swear on everything. And he looks over at Mr. Basketball Guy, the one that was complaining about us. And he goes, you said on the phone that these guys were harassing you? What'd they do? And he goes, they're being loud with their skateboards in the middle of my basketball game. And the cop chuckles. And he goes, listen, I don't think they're really bothering you. They're not trying to bother you. There's multiple basketball courts on this court, so if you want to go to a different one just a little bit farther away, just walk over to another one farther away from them. I'm sure it'd be fine. And I'm just in shock, right? Like, you see all these things on the internet and these videos on YouTube of, like, cops versus skaters. So I was nervous when these cops pulled up. Like, I honestly thought they were about to try and, like, give us trouble, but they were being cool about it. And this guy was pissed. This guy that was playing basketball, he starts getting real mad. He's like, really? You're just going to let them skate here? Like, this is clearly not okay. And the cop's like, listen... They're not doing anything. They're not damaging any property. We can't do anything about that. 
have a great one. And they turn around and they leave. And I'm just like loving every minute of this. Like me and my friend are both smiling at each other. We're in our heads thinking like, this is just amazing. And right as the police pull away, right as they turn the corner and leave and they're out of sight, this guy throws his basketball at me full speed at my head and I dodge it. And he goes, wipe that fucking smirk off your face, punk. And my friend goes, you fucked up. And Mr. Angry Basketball Guy goes, oh yeah, how did I fuck up? And my friend goes, you have 10 seconds to start running. 10 second head start. That's all you get. You better start running. And he goes, I'm not going to run from you. I'm not scared of you. And my friend winds his board back behind his head and goes, you sure about that, buddy? And this dude just takes off running like full speed in the other direction. I know my friend. My friend wasn't even going to hit this guy. He was just trying to scare him. My friend's not a fighter at all. But yeah, this dude just took off running in the opposite direction of us. And my friend chased him. And this dude's screaming. He's like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. Just please leave me alone. And finally, my friend stops chasing him. The guy stops running. And my friend goes, apologize to my friend for trying to hit him with a basketball, please. And the guy yells at me. He goes, I'm sorry, man. I was like, it's fine. Just don't do it again or you're going to jail. Kind of just making a joke about what he said earlier. And he's like, huh, yeah. And I walk over and I grab his basketball and I throw it back to him. And he goes back to playing basketball. And my friend walks back up to me and he's like, yo, I cannot believe that just happened. I'm like, yeah, man, you and me both. And he goes, yeah, anyway, let's go to a different park now. So me and him got on our boards and we skated to a different spot. This time, there was also basketball players there, but this time, they weren't so angry and mean to us. They're actually very nice. They offered us water, so, you know, good people all around. But yeah, I asked my friend after this happened, I was like, yo, were you actually about to hit him with your board? He's like, fuck no, man. I wasn't going to do anything. I just wanted to give him a scare. I was like, dude, you're ridiculous. He's like, yeah, well, he was fucking with you, man. He tried to throw a ball at your head. I was like, that's true. So yeah, moral of this story is, if there is one... Don't throw basketballs at people's heads. Don't call the police on people that don't deserve it unless they're doing something wrong. And uh, don't try and throw a fucking ball at my head, please. I'm not trying to get my head hit with a basketball. I don't like that. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's pretty much where the story ends. My head is fully intact. No basketball imprint on it. Nice and good. Uh, Skated for the rest of the day. Everything was all good. And uh, now we're here. So yeah. I don't think I'll see this guy ever again, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully this time he doesn't have a basketball with him to throw at my head. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the story time, leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.